I'm an addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. What's good, what's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new sneaker podcast for today, Saturday. A lot of pretty, pretty hot releases. For some, some are going to say nah, some are going to say hell yeah, some hot releases. We have the Air Jordan 2 that released today in this infrared gray and black colorway. Me personally, I think it's an okay colorway. I don't think it's amazing. I don't think it's whack. Let me know what you think of that shoe. Leave your comment on that. Let me know if you picked it up, if you're planning on picking it up today. Also, you had an Air Jordan 1 that had a little bit of inspiration with the Air Jordan 2 in the back and on the tongue you actually have the wings logo black white with a little bit of pure platinum that shoe looks pretty dope and i'm looking to definitely shoot this shoe so be on the lookout for that hopefully unless i can't get my hands on that shoe but i'm trying to get my hands on it uh you also have the kd6 elite my opinion it's a cool colorway i like that this elite model has the 360 unit I'm definitely looking forward to getting my hands on this two shoe, and I am definitely looking forward to a different colorway. This colorway is just an OKC colorway. I'm not wearing that. I'm good. But some are going to love that release for today. And then you have the Kobe Elite that released today in your Lakers colorway. If you like this shoe, this high top shoe, I did a detailed review on the shoe, my opinions on it after wearing it casually. Also, for heads that are curious about the casual look of this shoe, I'll put links in the description box below. You can see how these look casually, and I talk about the technology of the shoe, but me personally, this is definitely an easy pass for me. But I do know a lot of people are going to buy it, and I know it's going to sell out quick because the elites are just flying off the shelves. And then we have the LeBron 11 Elite. And this shoe, I'm very curious to see how it's going to do today. And we'll see, man. This is going for 275 bucks. I think this is the most expensive Nike basketball shoe ever. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think of all these Elite shoes releasing. Like your opinions on them. Let me know what you think about the LeBron and the KD. Did you pick it up? Are you thinking about picking it up? Are you going to wait and see if they go on sale? Leave your thoughts on that. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are on that. And also the two Air Jordans I was speaking about. And also, before I forget, there's a Nike Air Force One Yeezy colorway. You know, the Yeezy hype is just like so real out there with this Yeezy hype. We've got the phone posit coming out in like a week or so, which I did review. Make sure to check out that review. I'll put links in the description box below to a bunch of reviews I've done. I mean, I've shot so many episodes this week and very detailed episodes. I mean, I busted my ass this week with reviews. Probably spent at least 72 hours on my show this week just filming and filming and filming and editing and editing. I mean... You know, I put a lot of work into my episodes, and it's been a, an exhausting week this week. Um, make sure to hit the like button. If, if you like my episodes, if you really enjoy them, that's the only thing I really ask for. Like, just hit that like button. When you do that, it motivates me to keep doing all these episodes. Like, it's Saturday. I'm tired, but I'm doing this podcast because I know people really enjoy listening to these podcasts you know what i mean and I, I love to entertain people i just need to know people are entertained by this by you know seeing people liking the video by seeing comments in the description box below so you know if you're really a fan of this show and you want to just see this continue to just be the way it is a lot of content all the time and a lot of quality content Please, that's all I ask in return. Just show me that you're into this show by hitting the like button and leaving comments. Just motivates me to keep rocking. But yeah, the phone posit review, I finally finished it. I posted it yesterday. Real, real detailed review. I did a glow-in-the-dark test with it, show them on feet. I even show you the shoe next to the Yeezy. And, you know, compare the solar red to this crimson, this laser crimson, so you can see the difference in colors. But I'm going to get into a real, real detailed comparison. Hopefully, I'll shoot that in a day or so. I just need to take a breather for the weekend, man. It's been crazy. I've been, as I said, man, it was overwhelming how much stuff I filmed this week and how much editing. It's been crazy. This is like one of the craziest weeks ever. If you look at all the recent videos, I mean, I hit you guys with a lot of material. This new King's Pride 
Soldier 7 LeBron that, you know, just came out of left field. I was able to shoot that, and that shoe's pretty dope, too. A lot of heat. The um, Easter KD6. There's so many episodes. Just look in the description box below or go to the main page, youtube.com forward slash the sneaker addict, and look where the recent episodes are. And also catch up in all the reviews. I have everything organized real nice in different playlists. So if you're in the mood for watching, you know, Nike reviews or Adidas reviews, Reebok reviews. I even have a pick one playlist if you love watching all the pick ones, which is pretty dope. And I also have a podcast playlist if you enjoy the podcast and you want to listen to more podcasts. And I'm going to end this podcast right here. I have so much stuff to do today, but I wanted to at least hit you guys with a podcast early in the morning. And keep in mind, if you're looking for any of these shoes, make sure to go to my blog, thesneakerratic.com, 7.55 a.m., right before shoes release. And I'll try to help you find these kicks for retail. Hopefully, I was able to help people out today. If you're still looking for some of the kicks I mentioned, just go to the blog, thesneakerratic.com right now and check it out. If you're interested in seeing photos of the shoes we talked about today, just go to the blog, thesneakerratic.com and make sure to go there at least once a day. I'm constantly putting sneaker news up. There's stuff up um, right now about the Concord phone posit that I was speaking about. There's a new Air Jordan 11 Low and it's going by the name the infrared 23 it's basically black and white and it's got hits of infrared which i'm kind of like whatever about it's cool but i'm just getting tired of the new colorways on like some of my favorite shoes i just whatever call me old school i'm just not embracing it that well i don't think it's whack and i definitely know that i'll be able to wear them and they're gonna look hot on my feet but there's so many lows they could have given us they could have hit us with like that carolina blue low top 11 like that would have been incredible there's so much stuff they could be giving us and they're giving us these new colorways instead but i know why they do that the reason why they do that is because this infrared 23 this is not your typical infrared it's a new shade of infrared infrared 23 and the reason why they keep changing the shades of colors, I've mentioned this in the past, is because by doing that, then when you go to buy your shoe, you say, okay, well, I need to buy a t-shirt to match this red now. So that's why they do that all the time. That's why you've seen you have this year dark powder blue instead of regular powder blue so that you go and buy the Jordan dark powder blue t-shirt. And... It's annoying, but that's why they do it. They do it because they're trying to sell, you know, their products. Because they make mad money off that stuff, you know, the t-shirts and all that. So when they alter a color a little bit, then it just influences the consumer to buy the other stuff, the accessories to match, you know what I mean? The hat, you know, the socks. So it's just a way for these brands to make money. I've really only seen Nike doing that, though. It's really Nike, Jordan brand that do that. You know, every year, look at all the reds we've got. We've got so many different reds. Solar red, crimson, laser crimson. That's the new solar red. It's just a different shade. Before that, we had atomic red. They keep changing the shades of colors so that they can keep selling different shirts in the different shades. Different hats with the different shades. Different socks with the different shades of that red. They're very similar, all these reds. But the reds do have different shades. So a lot of people are going to buy that new shade of the red or the green. That's just what Nike and Jordan brand does. And we've got this infrared 23 that we're seeing as you've seen today. With these Jordan 2s that are releasing, as we've seen with the Jordan 3s that released in the past. And we're going to see this with this Jordan 11. we also seen it with the Jordan 10. And as I was saying with the blues, you got your dark powder blue 3 that came out, your dark powder blue 10 that came out. So that's just their master plan with all that. But I got to get out of here. This is not scripted, these podcasts. It's always off the top of the mind. So if I get an idea and I start speaking about something... I just go off, and I think that's what's entertaining about these things, you know. And I think that's why they're entertaining. You get that connection and just kicking it, hanging out. And that's it for today. Make sure to hit that like button, share this video, Facebook, Twitter, and catch up on all the reviews. Man, I worked really hard. This has a lot of early looks at shoes, so please take advantage of my work. Like, you know, 
That's all I ask. I really want you guys to watch the material. So make sure to watch the material if you're interested. If you're not, you know, no one's to twist in your arm. But um, make sure to catch up on all the reviews. Look in the description box below. And make sure to follow all my social networks. The music, too. I've been getting a lot of compliments. People are really feeling the music they're hearing in these episodes at the end. You can get the music for free. Just go check in the description box. It says my music and there'll be a link SoundCloud. It's free. All you got to do is go there and just download it for free. They don't ask you for a penny. It's as easy as like just downloading it for free. And it's legal. It's my music. And shout out to everyone that's been actually playing it. Shout out to DJs that's been playing it. Shout out to people that just been listening to it and enjoying it. And shout out to anyone that's been playing it even in their videos on YouTube. That's pretty cool. I've been noticing that lately. So shout out to everyone that's been doing that too, all right? Everyone have a good weekend. Be safe out there. Don't drink and drop. And also be careful out there with the cell phones, man. I noticed the police are going ham with um, the cell phones. Even if you are not on the phone... If you're driving and you have your cell phone in your hand, you can get a ticket for that. I got myself a ticket this week just by having the cell phone. I was holding it in my hand while I was driving, and I got a damn ticket. So that sucked because I got to pay for that damn thing now. But just be careful out there, man, with the cell phones. You really shouldn't be holding it anyway. It's just a bad habit, you know what I mean? But damn, man, I, I have to pay a ticket now for holding a damn cell phone. That just sucks. It's a waste of money. I hate wait. Who, who likes wasting money? So that's it. I'm out. Hope you enjoyed this podcast and be good out there. Classic Snoop blasting out the window Talk about drinking gin, smoking it dope Pretty thing next door, fat ass, nice rack At the barbecue tonight, I gotta beg It's that. a beautiful day in my neighborhood My homies getting paid in my neighborhood Sunshine bright on my neighborhood It's a beautiful day, beautiful day I'm fresh to death, like a million bucks Bigger threat, DJ Dell's be throwing it up. The souls on my great five stay icy. Healthy hating ass police wanna see us in cuffs. Don't be mad, or pockets are grande. Pissing out ace of space while you drinking that Andre. Wave game, tripping lobster on fire. Bomb bay. Piling stacks, burning Cubans every day's a payday. Pogo down to the socks. Own more low.